Yes! That is... There we go. That is nice. I'm already a... Now for the big test, which is, because I want to do this now for next session. Which is, is, once I get back to the Elven Forest level, those are the locked ones. That's not normally one of the, I will check this one because this isn't one of the usual uh, transfer potion ones. <laughs> it turns out to be a transfer potion, and we're like, oh, that doesn't look like one of the usual ones that has transfer potions. I check it, it turns out to be a transfer potion. I'm trying to cut back the number of transfer potions I have. Also, forgot to sell that katana. All right. But yeah, for those who are wondering, I started doing the map reference when I get to hit the graveyard level. Just because the graveyard level has a whole bunch of pit traps. And it, which can just make things obnoxious and tedious. That is, there are some pit traps that you actually are supposed to fall in. Um in order to proceed in the dungeon. The good news is, he has to deal more damage this time, because I've leveled up one character and gotten a weapon upgrade for another.
That one could have pixie wings. It does. All right, Miss Kitty. <sighs> And the glare missed this time. Good. I always appreciate when their special attacks miss. Okay, so I can just keep proceeding down. Okay, good. Ah, oh, good. It did good. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so remember to spot in the... All right, good. Remember to spot in the map. Okay. And cutscene trigger. All right, in retrospect, I should have just used the transfer potion in the first place, and that would have worked a lot better. Oh, well, that's my bad. It saved me a lot of time. Now I know. All right, so and this is... Okay, so... We need to rest. Are you serious, Michelle? You would call this disgusting place our home? This dump that is full of beasts such as orcs and kobolds? The girl elf you met previously was talking with someone. Kaza, you understand too, don't you? We lost our forest, known as the will to live, and some have taken their own lives. And even our leader Fawn has lost his sight from this, this despair. We could be more concerned with ourselves than about the Flash. The two seem to have, seem to have noticed you. Oh, you're... The young man who was called Kaza turned around slowly. His furry red eyes widened with shock. Well, why are you... You're speechless. He stared without even blinking. His eyes were filled with confusion. Is this the work of the demons? Or has his visage been etched into my eyes by the flame of my hate? No, Durgan is still alive. What do you mean alive? A ghost would have been better. So I would accept that he came back to finish something undone. I'm sure that Sophia was glad that he at least he was saved. Kaza reacted to those words. Yes, I'm certain she's glad too. That's the kind of person she was. More reason for me not to forgive him. The mere fact that now she is dead and he is still alive. Kaza exploded with rage he had held back all this time. Why did you come to our forest after the flash? Would you not even be troubled as to bring flowers to her grave? 
You deaf to the wails of the souls of those who lost their loved ones? This may not be a real forest, but real yet, how dare you step into our land once more? Please forgive him. Charles got upset because he loved Sophia like a sister since childhood. Of course, I'm just as saddened, but the Sophia in my memory holds no grudge against you, towards you for some reason. Michelle fell silent and looked towards the lake. Sophia used to love the view from here. Above ground, this place is but a faded dream. But it can always be seen in this accursed labyrinth. It's all right, if you can't remember it now. But please, for her sake, do you remember that there was someone who loved you most dearly. All right, so... Interesting. The elves perhaps know what the, what the hell is actually going on here. Uh... Well, there's a chest over there. Okay, I'll have to go grab that in a second. Ooh, some new undead. There we go, now they can't rush us. Oh, they can cast spells too, that's good to know. And then shot. All right, so new critters. I don't know if they got any new drops. Apparently not. You are probably a oh two giants. Lovely. But you're friendly, so we're going to leave you alone. All right, locks chest. Oh, lock chest and trapped. Not too badly, chapped. Trapped or trapped. Ah! Did that vellum real bad? Particularly if we're going through this dungeon.
Okay, go quote adventuring party. Nice. That is a walk cycle. I feel it'd be a more meaningful walk cycle if, you know, they had a they had something in their offhand. They actually did some damage against Kyo. Huh. Nice. All right, there's the way down. I'd move forward, but something stopped you. As if beckoned by the sound of the spring, you drifted off. And at the edge, the water splashed onto your face. Durgan. Oh, Durgan. A gentle voice and the sound of the water blended together and echoed. Durgan, your eyes are like a winter lake. Cold. Frozen. Uninviting. Is that a compliment? But listen, Durgan. Below, the ice is waiting to be released, to become free waiting to reflect the sky under the bright warm sunlight. So, someday, the ice within you will melt away. And when that day come, the time comes, let's reflect on the beautiful sky of our, du of our Duhan, you and me, together. Promise me. You grasp out as if trying to do reach out as if trying to grasp the vanishing mirage. A joy that made you want to cry and despair that made you want to laugh stung your heart for some reason. Sophia. Michelle, a young elf, came wonder, running over. She put her hands out to the spring where the illusion disappeared. So I'm not the only person who watched it this time. This isn't saw this. It isn't just a flashback, or is it just a, a, a psychological flashback? Wait, Sophia, please tell me. You're gonna be torn away from your love, being cursed with death. How can you stay so strong? I I want to see you once more. After saying it, Michelle looked down sadly, then glanced, then gazed at you. A flash had been brought upon us by God's anger. So much easier for us. All we would have to do is rue him. 
and then some day the merciful Lord will recover from what ailed his heart. But our hearts will never recover from our sorrow, because of the flash that has fallen upon us. Michelle looked down as if she, was in, if she were in fear. Her face was pale and her lips trembled. That flash, it was the doing of a human. Same goes for the black spirit that you call the Reaper. Of course, nowadays, so few are aware of its existence. I have no doubt it was created through the elves' traditional rite of darkness. It was one of the ancient knowledges we could not abandon for the sake of our silly pride. Someone with a malevolent heart must have abused it. But for it, we are guilty, or for all eternity. Michelle became dispirited. This was a painful confession for her to make. The elves were proud raids, and they would never admit to any mistake they, have made, they may have made. You must be wondering why I'm telling you this. Because I want to trust you the way Miss Sophia had trusted you. So even though we're hated because of that sin, I just want you to know the truth. If you allow me to see what will become of this tragedy, and I'll go back to the town. If you allow me to join you, please come to the tavern. Another registered party member. I believe that's a caster. I've heard about the Elves' ancient city of magic before. I believe that most of the spells known to us come from there. The powers can defy even death, and that the civilization had the ability to realign the stars. They also said that our myth of Eden is actually about the city of the Elves. Nobody knows why such an amazing civilization vanished. Some say they are punished by heaven for indulging in the black arts. Sarah frowned and concentrated, trying to sort out everything she knew. But the truth about who caused the flash comes as quite a surprise. This would mean that the flash and the reaper were both born or were both born of those ancient methods. But who, for what purpose? Those would be the biggest questions, right? I guess that's the reason for the elves always being so arrogant. Because of the Flash, a lot of friends and people I know died. My parents were already dead, so they never saw the Flash. But the guys I knew from when I was a kid, and folks I saw every day, I lost them all. I tried to look downcast. The faces of those who had died raced through his mind. I didn't believe that God caused the Flash, like everyone was saying. That was something, just something inevitable, like a natural disaster. But maybe I just wanted to believe that someone could, could want that. The truth is something odd about the Flash. It's far too big to be a spell, but too evil to be even God's will. The girl elf said someone caused it to happen, but I still can't believe it. How is it possible to completely reduce a town to ashes? Most of all, I can't believe it was insane enough to actually do it. Saying that, Kyo scowled. Whatever the reason, whoever did it should never be forgiven. Let's find that person soon and make them pay for their sin. Definitely paying along with the idea that the Flash is basically a magical nuclear weapon. Okay, uh... Alright, so I know where that's taking me. So let's descend down to the next level of the dungeon. We'll back out using a uh, potion. All right. Fog covered the ground like a cloth. Somewhere in the distance, you could smell the stench of bodies. Something is going on in the labyrinth. You've been completely subdued. Two one soldiers are all throughout the labyrinth. There was a plan to catch the Queen's abductor, Sir Eugene. But why would he do it? Do you think he has to do with demons? Well, that's because there's a rumor that he's a contract with a demon. You must meet him and find out his true intentions. See, Eugene. No, never mind. I shouldn't involve you in this. Grace bowed slightly and went on her way. What a creepy place this is. It's like a ghost town, as if a war or plague just wiped out everyone in town. Ricardo frowned and looked around. Plus, the humidity and the smell of mold. That drive me crazy. 
Don't you feel the evil getting stronger? Looking like down here, I've been feeling sick. Like my head is all cloudy or something. I just feel countless and malicious, countless malicious and evil forces surrounding me. It's kind of like when the Reaper came out on the second floor. It seems to make everything I see turn grayish. In the distance, are explosions and the screams of soldiers in battle. The ground beneath you trembled. The rumor is true that those are Duhan, the so Duhan soldiers in Sir Eugene fighting. We still know why he would kidnap the Queen, but the air is not natural. Something must have happened here. The girl talked about a contact with the demon and all. If it's any worse, I think Eugene might even call out the demon. We don't know what's ahead, so we've got to be careful from now on. Okay. Ah, that's nice to have. Samurai soldier of Duhan cut down four ogres, one after the other. Arabella, use your spell. Okay, Taiga. Sure, let's help. Durgan's, uh, Durgan's altitude, attitude gave a good impression to comrades with a good or neutral attribute. You drew your weapon in front of the ogres. I have actually fought a fair number of ogres. I feel comfortable with this fight. Oh, good, it's only three of them, so they can't bull rush me. I have beaten more ogres than this. All right, so. Do double slash on. You two on you. You guys are strictly melee. You have no special spells, so it's. All right, here we go. Ah, that was nice. That was a nice, fairly straightforward fight. The party fit the ogres. The samurai's party finished off their ogres as well. Saved by you guys again, huh? I'm sorry, and I'm grateful. But you already know that the queen has been abducted. Colbert seems to be the one who summoned the demon. One of the orc we caught, he's trying to start a war. That's why he's waking up the strongest demons one by one. The forest cracked with evil energy. If anything going on, you better be careful. Arabella. Mirabel nodded in acknowledgement at Taiga's voice. Let me at least heal you in appreciation for helping us. Cast a healing spell. Wom, 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 wom. He recovered. Normal stats was recovered. Silver mm. crystal. Mana Quartz. I feel a gentle, almost sad power when I give this to you. Like it doesn't want to go. It may be of use to you in some point in the future. All is player for each other's victory in battle. Yep. I skipped the line there, but that's okay. Bishop's Bracelet. Mana Quartz is a key item. Okay. Uh, 
And then after this fight here, I will dash back to town and call it a day. Because we've been going for about two and a half hours. And also freaking spiders. Uh... Oh, hey, mass, mass uh, fire damage. Perfect. I can dig that. Just to be safe, let's just use front guard. Oh, they could rush us. There's enough numbers there for them to rush us. And also, why I just leveled up a party member, so don't need to deal with that. All right. There we go. So now we get a new assortment of quest items I can take on. Quests I can take on also. Stay at the end. Alright, ooh, we've got level 6 spell slot now. Huh. Read the good word of the opening of Helgamar. I get vellum for this. Nice. If it's the same way as usual, you would expect to hear the familiar voice about now. But you weren't waiting for it. You weren't waiting for it, but you did walk slower. Stop! Just as you expected. Stop walking. Yoo hoo! Helga jipped out in front of you. You accepted my quest again, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. Really? I was just joking. I must be psychic. Be guided by the heavens. Everyone will be so jealous of me. Oh well, anyways, you're working for me again. All right, the Helga Brand Sword. Finally, I'm going to begin selling it. Decided not to sell it the same way other places do. Now I'm going to sell it? No. Yeah, huh? That's what I thought. Only I, the beautiful genius, would be able to think this up. Don't worry, you're my business partners. I'll tell you. Here's how. Auction. 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 That's right, an auction. The auction customers will swarm my store like flies to booyah. The most popular store around. Cha-ching! But first, I have to advertise my shop and this sh sword. So, that's where you step in. You take the sword and advertise it to adventurers in the labyrinth. You got a Helga brand hound sword. Oh, I don't even think about fighting with the sword. I don't want to scratch on it. It's valuable merchandise. Or make sure you flash it around and make it look powerful. Put off to at least five people. According to my calculations, someone will see you every five or six battles. I say if you fight at least about 30 times, at least five people will see you. I'm counting on you. So, 30 fights. I went back to the counter. Return, I get a vellum. Worth it. Let's hand over the vellum and see if it's anything I can craft yet, because that is a spell I really want.
Okay. So I need to take the bishop. Okay, so I need to pick the bishop's bra uh, bracelet to the shop to cash that in. Um. I think I've already sold the dragon heart. So I think during my off time, or rather off stream, I need to head down to level three, get a demon egg, and then cash that in, and then I'll have enough uh, enough stuff. make the rest of these items. I need to make those vellums. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.